Okay, I'm actually gonna bust up the eraser tool. Jeez, oh, why went that? Okay. <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna uh, just smoothen this out a little bit. So you erase them down, so it's not. All right. Okay, so this layout's actually pretty much done. It's, as you see, it doesn't take that much time to do this. Um, we have the header part to do now where the logo goes, which is a white background. Uh, they don't use PNG transparent images, so you have to stick with that white. Um, for this, just make a layer below the YouTube uh, uh, original layout. And uh, we're going to go to shape, uh, rounded shape tool. Uh, I think 10px should be good. Uh, 10px looks a little bit too round for me. I'm going to go with uh, 6. So yeah, remember this is a white, so we want to have a white background here for this logo header part. So we do this. Just want to try and center it. Uh, it's all centered. Okay. <clears throat> all right. As you see, I went to blending options. Uh, I'm going to add a stroke here, which will be a line around it. Um, I use I usually use uh, gradient, just because it's uh, I I just like using the same color. I like fading colors and wor working around and instead of just using one solid color. Uh, so I'm going to use a gradient here. Um, we can just use the colors that originally come with the background. So I'm going to go with uh, that. And we'll fade this into so it goes to black. And we'll actually bring this down so it's a little bit darker. It's too dark. So maybe you can try it. Yeah, we can go with that right there. Um, <clears throat> There's also a trick here too, like if you don't like how your, your strokes go in or anything of the sort, you can always play around with your blending blending options. You go to blending modes within the options and you can go soft light. You just press up and down just to just to check them out. Some might actually turn out pretty cool. Or it might just fail. Like this seems to be looking. All right, I'm actually gonna go with overlay here, and then uh, I'm gonna add another blending mode, which is gonna be inner glow, just to give it like a, a little 3D effect. Um, go with a light gray with normal. Let's just see if I put it full black, you can see it blend in a lot better. But a light gray should be just to break up the colors a bit, so it's not solid white. Okay, so we have that, but now we need a. I'm actually gonna one more blending option, which is gonna be the outer glow, which will be the the shadow, uh, normal black, and we'll bring up the size on this. <clears throat> okay, so now we can click this layer, just select it, and now we can remove this. And that's where the YouTube logo is going to go now. And now we have the fonts. Uh, the font, like the links up here, that will probably be in this. It's pretty much going to be in the middle. So what I'm going to do here is going to be pretty simple. I'm going to just make a new layer. And just make like the navigation menu system here. Um, let's just actually go a little bit thinner than that. And I'm just going to fill this in with black. Um, keep it simple. Okay, see, I got the black there. Um, I'm actually going to add the blending option to this as well a stroke, one pixel width, white, and I'm going to make it soft light. And then, as you see, that makes it 
blend in good now as you probably notice this actually looks like one of the layers from YT layouts I've made so many it's kind of just memorized now man so yeah the layout this is the layout for the tutorial um, I will provide you this PSD source and uh, I hope everything here has actually helped you out with uh, making your own uh, it's basically just the first steps of getting the layout so it's centered uh, so you might find yourself come back to this video just to watch the first five minutes again and then the rest is just pretty much up to yourself getting creative and uh, adding your own uh, design to it <clears throat> and there's also many other ways to make the layout like you always don't have to follow the way I do it I'd actually like you guys to go out and try try and do something else and maybe get in touch with me and say hey this is actually a cool way to do the layouts maybe you should try doing them this way and then I can take a look and possibly start doing layouts that way and uh, actually before I go uh, this is what I usually do because there's three main font colors with uh, YouTube so I usually just put title and then post title and then text or main font and then here's uh, where I usually get the colors so for title you just uh, go around uh, click around uh, we'll go with that and then the post title and then main font this would be the font that's all over the page <clears throat> You can actually fix this title color. Go with uh, yeah. So you can do something like that, and then now you have all your colors. So when you go to add it to YouTube, you can just go over with your hue and uh, just pick the colors. And then as you see, and then you put that into YouTube, and then you do the same for all these other ones. And then you just keep adding it. And then uh, when you go to save your background, just unclick that, hide it. <clears throat> and then there you go, man. There's a YouTube layout. And this uh, file will be provided in the right side of the video in the description. Uh, and if you have problems designing yourself, uh, getting like your graphics, you can do what I did for this tutorial is go to yabwallpaper.com and grab a wallpaper from there and slap it together. As you see, it didn't take much much of my time to do that. So yeah, I'm gonna be going uh, going ahead and adding this layout to the channel now, and along with this video, and hopefully everyone can start making their own layouts now, and uh, possibly get some submissions to ytlayouts.net.